Good morning children and here we are with the new topic called pop art. It is a style of art based on simple bold images of everyday items and painted with bright colors. Pop art has created pictures of labels, packages, photographs of celebrities and comic strips. Andy Warhol was an American artist who was a leading figure in the visual art movement for pop art. So here we are with our A3 size art file, pencil and eraser, medium and big size plastic lid, a scale, a thick black sketch pen, 6 bright poster colors, number 10 and 12 brushes, a plastic bowl and a coloring mixing palette. Make 6 medium sized circles and in the first circle make a baby line. Make a curved line on both the sides, joining the tip of the wavy line on the top till down below the circle. Use zigzag lines to make leaves of the fruit cherry. Make a V-shaped line inside the cherry for the effect of various parts in it. Divide the other three circles with the ruler equally in two halves. Here we are going to paint six different opposite bright colors inside these three circles. Mix the colors properly with water before using it on the sheet with brush number 10. Outline the border with the red paint and then fill the empty space inside the semicircle. Similarly, repeat the process with the opposite color blue. The second circle to be a combination of yellow and green and the same method to be used. The third circle can be painted with a combination of orange and purple. The second last circle to be filled in with dots of the same size and to be filled in in a sequence. Two wavy lines to be made on the tip of the circle in opposite sides. And curved lines to be made on the tip of the circle for the stem of an apple. On a fresh new sheet divided into two equal halves with a scale in a standing or a vertical form. Then horizontally divide the sheet into four equal halves. Make four medium sized circles and draw wavy lines on top of all the four circles. Make curved lines on either side of all the circles and a curved shape to be drawn down below to give a shape of cherries. Make V shaped lines to form the effect of separate sections inside the cherry and continue with the same method throughout the other halves.